Control the lifeguard. Do you copy? Lifeguard, do you copy? Control the lifeguard. Radio systems check. Lifeguard, do you copy? Flight, we have lost all radio. In the early morning hours, search crews were still looking for the crew of Lifeguard 1, a CCSA shuttle the that returning went down. space shuttle Lifeguard 1, a new Mark 6 variant Shurkin class, was forced to make an emergency landing off the coast of Florida this morning. At this time, it is unclear what was the cause of the emergency or the fate of the six crew. My fellow Americans, this day has brought terrible news and great sadness to our country. At 2.30 a.m. this morning, our space shuttle, codenamed Lifeguard, was forced to make an emergency landing off the coast of Florida, at which point Mission Control lost contact with the spacecraft. During the shuttle was lost. There are flight no tracking showed that Lifeguard 1 was off course and that glide slope of the orbiter would overshoot its landing zone at Cape Canaveral Air Station. The crew was instructed to make a series of S-turns to shed speed on approach and scrub off several kilometers per second of Delta V. These maneuvers were never executed. Whether this was due to crew error or some sort of Just equipment failure, it's yet to be from the CCSA representatives that the black boxes from Lifeguard 1 have been recovered. Teams at the Troubled Space Agency have been working tirelessly to find the cause of last week's crash that claimed the six lives. Black box data shows that there were no reported failures of flight critical hardware or software systems that would have contributed to the crash of the Lifeguard 1 orbiter and that the craft was performing nominally right up to the point of impact. The orbiter's cockpit voice recorder indicates some discrepancies and deviations, however, from standard operating procedures and actions taken by the flight crew. Our investigators Search crews are, are still being called back today as the focus of the investigation shifts from recovery to reconstruction. Questions are also being raised about the training of these astronauts and the liabilities that may pose from a launch system. The investigation is still ongoing, we are told, as a joint task force from rival agencies NASA and the FAA have serious concerns about the CCSA and its practices. Last month's emergency landing was a shock to the nation, one that had so much pride in the little agency that could. These brave Kerbals assumed great risk in the service to all humanity. In an age when spaceflight has come to seem almost routine, it is easy to overlook the dangers of travel by rocket and the difficulties of navigating the fierce outer atmosphere of the Earth. These astronauts knew the dangers and they faced them willingly, knowing they had a high and noble purpose in life. Because of their courage and daring and idealism, we will miss them all the more. All of us today are thinking as well of the families of these brave Kerbals who have been given this sudden shock and grief. You are not alone. All of us grieve with you. And those you loved will always have the respect and gratitude of this country. The cause in which they died will continue. We are led into the darkness beyond our world by the inspiration of discovery and the longing to understand. Our journey into space will go on. This morning we saw destruction and tragedy, yet farther than that we can see there is comfort and hope. To expand our knowledge of the heavens is to seek a richer life on earth for our children and generations of children to come. To succeed in that great enterprise, we must have people of superior talents, supreme courage, and surpassing dedication. Such people are rare, but these six were among them. They have done more than stretch our hand into space. They have moved us closer to the fulfillment of an ancient dream. And in doing that, they have moved all people closer together. The crew of the lifeguard did not return safely to Earth. Yet we can pray that all are safely home. May God bless the grieving families, and may God bless America. Thank you.